Okay, I'm going to show you quickly how we process rabbit. So if you're not interested in watching this, don't. It's going to be graphic. So these these are snowshoe hares. We snare wild. And uh, what I have here is a couple lines that are just pinned to the ceiling. Um, just a string with a loop. I'm brutally allergic to rabbits. So <laughs> this sucks. Decent knife. And what we're going to do first, hopefully this shot is, is clean enough, is we skin up the inside of the legs on both sides. Same as what you do if you're tube skinning um, any fur-bearing animal. I like to keep the hides and tan them. around the back of the tail and up to the other side cleaning it off the, the meat there a little bit And rabbit hide, you can get your thumb underneath and just pull, and it starts coming off fairly easily. So I come around all the way to the other side from underneath, and I can peel it all the way up. It tears very easily as well. So there's one leg free. So now I come in across on the inside of the leg. using my thumb underneath the hide, in between the hide and the meat. And rip it away from the other side. And we're going to do this leg. Peeling it up and off. And that should free it from the rest of the body, the bottom of the body. So now I can just grab it and I can pull down and it should come right off. At this point, I usually cut the feet off, the front legs off. I just bend them at the joint here and put a blade on them and I just push and they pu they'll pop off clean at that joint. So now you can keep touching it down as you come down. Anytime it gets stuck or there's Put the other leg up so it can stop spinning on me as much. And now we're down to the head. At this point, I take the head off. So a lot of this material is really good for fly tying. If you want to um, take the mask off for fly tying, you would just skin down around the head. Um, I don't need any of that right now. So the same thing as what I did with the feet. I grabbed the under the jawline pull and I can just cut right through and the head is off and the rest of this hide will just pull off as well.
and down off the legs. And there you got a tube, a rabbit skinned out in a tube. And then until you tan it or do want to do something with it, it could just go in a Ziploc and in the freezer. Just like that. You can add the back legs to it if you wanted to keep the back feet. Just going to pull off a little bit of the rest of the hair off the front legs here. Okay. And now, gutting it, uh, I just pinch, pinch right here at the belly. Most of the intestines and everything should have fallen forward. Pinch at the belly. I cut a small slit here just to get through to the belly meat. There's a little hole there now. At this point, I can put my finger in there and I can just really down which then exposes the innards and uh, we can peel all that out without damaging it because we don't want that to spill open So I just pull it out, release it, reach down inside, grab the liver, break through the diaphragm, liver, lungs, heart, pull it all up through the top. And basically it's pretty much cleaned out. There's a couple kidneys on the side that you can pull out. Dogs like them. Just watch um, around our area. There's a lot of uh, tapeworms found in the rabbits. Not full grown, but in their in the one stage, waiting for it to be consumed by some something. So uh, I don't see any in this. So just watch if you're feeding your dog any of the insides. If it's uncooked uh, this one I don't see anything so clean out any any mess you find in here anything that doesn't belong and then just at the back we haven't cleaned out this yet um, I split the the hips right at the front of the pelvis the split through and then I can usually grab the tail and pull everything right through the inside and then that's that cleaned out nothing left and for the top legs I just use uh, some wire cutters or some uh, hedge snips. I don't, I don't just to break the bone, and then I can cut it. And there's your cleaned up rabbit. Give it a rinse, wash it up, and it's ready for the stew pot. So there's the hides. There's two hides per Ziploc, and I'm going to put those in the freezer. There's a bunch of feet I'll keep for the freezer as well. And there's all our rabbits in the sink. We'll wash them up, clean them up, and I got to go wash up because I'm sneezing.